Welcome to CSC 102 class. This is going to be a Mac only video for people who work on a Mac and need to work on Excel just to go over charts because it is a little bit different than the Windows version. And I'm going to start here with our EX04 just showing how to do a chart on this one. And this one we're going to do a cluster chart meaning there's going to be more than one column of data for, for each category here. So this would be the third chart on EX4 so I'll just do it on a Mac and I'm going to go over here to my spreadsheet and just highlight Surgeon through Seder, that last name on there. So there's basically seven rows that I'm highlighting and then I'm going to hold my command key and then go to my totals because we want the total surgeries and complications and then I'll highlight the, the heading right through the last one and make sure that that doesn't go any lower than that one and then I'll also keep command held down just like control on Windows so that I basically have three blocks of seven rows highlighted, if I counted correctly, of surgeon, surgeries, and complications. And these will be used as headings or legends, so it's as long as you have headings on each one, it's okay, or even if one's blank there, as long as they're the same amount of cells that you have highlighted, that's fine. So once I have them highlighted and they're still highlighted, I'm gonna to go to Insert, and I'm gonna choose the column chart, and it'll automatically make it clustered it says clustered right there because I have multiple columns selected. So I'll click on that and I'll move that over here. And there it is. And you can see those are the clusters. The orange are the clusters. They're the complications. And if you want to change the chart title, well, actually, the first thing you could do, if you see this, if you see chart design, you can go in here on Windows. They have it to the right. There's little icons to the right. They don't have them in, on the Mac, or at least that I'm aware of. So I'm going to go up here and choose a theme. And I'll just choose that dark theme like we were using because it looks nice with the dark background. And then I'll go to chart element and I'll add, I'll see if it says data labels outside end. And I'll click on that and that should put the labels on the outside end when you do that. And that's where we want them. And then if you want to add axis titles, you could go to the same place, add chart element, axis titles. I could do one vertical over there. And if you want to change the name, you can actually type it in here. Actually, I'm not going to put one because it would say surgery and complications. So I actually wouldn't want to have one there so I can actually click on that and delete it and it would get rid of it and if I do want to add one at the bottom actually I don't need one at the bottom because it already has a legend down at the bottom but if you did need to if you needed to add access titles you could do primary horizontal but that would just say surgeries and complications and we already have a legend down there so I don't even want that so I'll just click off and I'll click on this again and hit delete but I would want to change my chart title so I'll click on my chart title and you can highlight in here you can highlight in here and put surgeries and complications. You can put that in there and you can even type this up here if it's easier to type there. And I could click off of it. And if I click on the box again, if I wanted to change the color, they have changed colors here, but that's kind of like a theme. You could just go to your home tab and change a color of just the, you know, the font. So if you wanted to put that in, in red or orange or something, you could do that and that's hard to read. So I'll make it something a little bit lighter like that. That's easier to read. And if you wanted to change any of these, if I want, now wanted to make these lighter, I could just click on one, it selects all of those columns, and then just go up to here to the fill, and I'll just choose a lighter column and it adjusts that. And you could do that with any of these things. If you want the data labels to be a different color, you could go up here to the text and make them yellow or something. That's hard to see right there, but you can do that. So any of these little pieces of the chart, you could go in and edit just by using your home tab and your regular elements that you'd use. So that's all we have to do on that one. And these were done pretty much the same way. And you can see these have chart titles on them. And I guess I could have put surgeons down here or whatever, but uh, but they have surgeons on that side. And then they have, this one has surgeries. This one has total complications or whatever. That's doing charts on that one. And let me try the other one. I just put it here in a different sheet. And this was kind of a finished example. I'll start it new and I'll highlight day through the last element here. And I'll Hopefully these things will work as legends, so I'll, I'll use those up top, the headings. And again, I'll go to Insert, and this time I'll choose the line graph, and I'll just choose the first one. And there it is, and I'll just kind of move it here, and I'll click back on here again, and what I'll try to do is add data labels. And sometimes this is a little tricky, because these say above and below, and actually what the, what you do want them to say is outside end. So if, if you ever go to click on your chart, and it doesn't say inside end or those normal things just go to here just go to more data label options and it puts them in there and it suddenly it opens up this format data labels over here now if this is ever not open you could go here to format this little tab that opens up a charts and just go format pane 
and it'll show your format pane. Now these are text options for labels and these things are kind of a little, takes a little time to navigate these. The ones that are selected right now, I'm going to say above. It has label positions and you can see these are selected. So I'm going to select above and it moves them up there. And then if I click on one of these, I could go over here and select below. So again, this is label options that shows up in here when I'm on the labels. And that's where I want those things. Now, as far as these lines, if you remember, this one should be red because it should be the highs. Now, if you click on that line, you want to go over here to where it has like a paint bucket. And then for line, I'm just going to choose solid line and make sure you're not on marker. Make sure you're on the line and I'll go to solid line and I'll just make sure that it's red. It does have red here, so it, it shows that. And then for the markers, this is a, a little tricky. I did this one time and it was hard to navigate, but if you go to marker, those are those little circles that show up there. If you go to marker, you gotta close this up first. Actually, you don't want any, you don't want any line on the marker and you could just leave that on automatic for now. But if you go to marker options and choose built in, and then just make them a little bit bigger because they're hard to see. And then if you click off them, you can see they're like blue or whatever. Click on them again and then go to your fill thing again and go to marker. And then you could go to fill and then just give them a solid fill. And I'm going to make them red to match the line. It seems like a lot of work just for little things on there. And they don't have little lines on there, so that's okay. And then this one. I want to make blue, so I'll just click on the line. Now it shows all the markers, but I'm going to go on the line and I'm going to go to the fill bucket again and I'll choose solid line and I'll make it blue this time. Here's my blue color and it'll update these things down here. I'll make it blue. Now as far as the marker, again, go to marker, go to marker options and choose built in and then I'm just going to click it up just a little bit bigger. I think the other one might have been like six or something and just do that. Now they're still orange, so that means you have to go down here to color if you're not, if you could see it, if not close this up, but here's fill and I'm just going to do solid fill and I'm going to change it to blue, the same blue, so that they're all blue down here and make sure there's no line on here. It says automatic, but I'll just put no line so there's no line on there. So that's what those things should look like and, and you know how to change the title. You could just click up here, you know, and put temps or whatever, you know, whatever we had on here, temps in Warren County or whatever. I won't bother typing all that out. And then we put a like a fill and round corners on here. So I'll click on the on the edge of this again and I'll go to fill and I'll close up fill and I'll just focus on the border and I'll go down. I'll do I'll do solid line and I'll make it red to kind of match the, the red that I have in there. And you can see there's a little bit of a line there. And then at the very bottom, you could check round corners. It doesn't give any option for round corners. It'll just round it a certain amount. And then you can make this a little thicker. That'll put kind of a border on it. It's kind of what I was getting to. And you got to click off to kind of see it. And there it is. And then if you want to put a fill in here, just click on this again. Go to fill, close a border, and go to fill. And you can do a gradient. Now this just happens to be the one I was messing around with last time. But if these weren't on here, you could pull these off. And let's say I just wanted to switch it. Maybe I wanted this kind of like a blue color like the sky or something. I could go over here and make this like a, a blue color. And that's really harsh blue. If it's too much, you can increase the transparency. And then the one on the end, I'll change that to an orangey color. I'll just go right down here. I'll give it an orangey color. And there's that. And I'll even tone that down a little. And then in the middle, maybe I'll put like, I don't know, green or something. I don't know. You could just click right on here and add one. Now that's obviously way too green. So I'll just lighten it up a little. And just something like that. So just add some color to it. But you could do anything you want with the gradients. But but that's the border, the rounded. That's all part of when you're just selecting the chart. And then you could always go back here if you want. If you want these, if you want the text with within a certain font, or you want it bigger, or you want it bold. You could click on bold here. You could click on these and make them bold. You could make these blue if you want. You know, if I could click on the text and just go right up here and make these the blue color, and then I could go in here and make these the red color if I want. I'm not saying that would be better because it probably makes it a little harder to read with all the colors but you know anything like that any of these things that you need to change you need to change the font of these make them bold make them black because they look kind of gray right now any of that kind of stuff you could do that now that's black so so any of that you can do on here so it takes a little getting used to using this kind of format shape in here and then also when you're on the chart be aware that there's there's chart design 
that gives you these chart elements that you can add these things legends and titles and data labels and all that kind of stuff and then also you know there's format on change some of this stuff too on here but usually you're going to do this down here that's where you're going to use the format pane and do this kind of stuff down here so that's just a little you know again if you want to change this you could just go to your home tab change the font there I'll put in Aachen or something like that purple color and there you go now it looks nice and colorful but anyway that's just charts in a Mac it's a little bit different you don't have the little icons to do that stuff so it takes a little getting used to uh, but that's for two of the assignments of how you'd kind of mess around with the with the charts on a Mac